Újabb szakmai kongresszussal folytatjuk, méghozzá a Skanzenben megrendezett Európai Szabadtéri Múzeumok konferenciájával. Az együtt gondolkodás során számos értékes kérdés terítékre került, de talán a legfontosabb a vezér téma volt, jelesül a trauma narratívája. Mi dolgunk van a traumákkal, hogyan segítsük a feldolgozásukat, és ebben milyen szerepük lehet a múzeumoknak? A következő percekben a mi beszélgetéseink is ennek mentén szerveződnek. I think trauma are about being objectified, being robbed of your subjectivity. It's about being immobilized, pacified. And I think some of the important aspects of trauma processing is regaining agency. It's taking back your subjecthood. It's saying I speak. And I think in some ways it's having your experience recognized or acknowledged because what, what you have in your traumatic case is, am I imagining this? You know, am I thinking of ghosts? So what you can do around trauma is validate it and say, yeah, you know, this is what happened. And I think that's what a collective process can very much be around trauma. I think you asked also about reconciliation and forgiveness and in these contexts of museums. And I don't know, I mean, this sounds a bit nasty, but I don't know if forgiveness is the primary goal. I think you can have reconciliation as a goal. And I think maybe the reconciliation is more about the fact that this happened. This happened to my people or this happened to me as an individual. Reconciliation to the fact that it happened but not necessarily to the perpetrator. I actually think anger has a quite strong place in this. People don't like to talk about anger, but I think anger actually has a place in getting through trauma and the validation that you're right to be angry. There's a reason for anger, because what happened was not right. I think this is what museums do, right? I mean, we replay, we reenact, we, we, we make it tangible out there, what happened in a given historic period or what happened in a given situation. And I think, part, you know, this is what you call ethnographic museums can do. This is what a museum like this one can do. I think, again, it's about validation. And whether you're an individual or whether you're a people, whether you're a collective, that you, the situation is acknowledged that this is what happens. And with the high credibility museums have as institutions, I think museums can provide huge validation of a given historic trauma. Nagyon sok kutatásunk van, ami a különböző történetekre fókuszál, az épületekkel kapcsolatban, a közösségekkel kapcsolatban, a család történetet is kutatjuk, és bizonyos tárgyaknak is akár a történetét felgyűjtjük. Ezáltal egy olyan hatalmas nagy információ mennyiség alakul ki, amiből tud dolgozni a múzeum mikrotörténelmi látásmód, amit ezáltal a kutatás által nyerünk. Segít bennünket abban, hogy ezekre a rétegekre reflektáljunk, valahogyan a, a múzeumi bemutatás során is. Én úgy látom, hogy a kibeszélés elindítása a fontos. A trauma feldolgozás során ez egy kritikus első lépés, hogy megtörténjen a problémának az azonosítása, és elinduljon egyfajta kommunikáció. A társadalmi múzeum szerepnek a felértékelődése és ennek a múzeumi funkciónak a kiteljesedése elérte a szabadtéri múzeumokat is. A azáltal, hogy életvilágokat idéznek meg tulajdonképpen, és megvan az a hatalmas adatmennyiség, ami az például az elmúlt száz évnek a kataklizmáinak a lenyomatát is magán hordozza. Ennek a bemutatása és ennek a feldolgozása alapvető küldetésünk, hogy a társadalmi történeti traumákra reflektál az intézmény. At our museum in particular, we look at slavery in the United States. So trauma is a key component of telling that story. Uh, we also deal with the indigenous American, Native American story, which also involves the removal of indigenous Americans from their land 
and replacement by colonial settlers. So it's kind of key to the story that we tell at our, our museum. Our motto is that the future may learn from the past. And so it's important for us that we're constantly learning and constantly being able to pass that on to our guests. Museums are a place where it's safe to have those conversations. Often in the kind of outside world, politics and difficult issues become very uh, confrontational. In a museum, it's about learning, and so everyone is there to learn. Things can be brought up in a museum using an old analogy that have a direct relevance to today. You can have more complex and nuanced and dangerous, dare I say, questions in a museum because you're dealing with the past which kind of allows a conversation to be had that then you can kind of move towards the present. But if you dived right into it in the present, it becomes very hard. So if you were to just meet somebody in a coffee shop and have a conversation about indigenous people or the relationship between white and black people in America, it's much harder. But if we talk about it in the past, it's, it's at arm's length, but we can then bring that conversation into the present. So that then the future may learn from the past, right? It, it informs what we do today.